Hello everyone, myself Abhishek. Today I am presenting evaluating PLA scaffold as a material for bone tissue engineering. Polylactic acid or scaffolding create, uh, created using a fused deposition modeling, a new method of bone regeneration used for its ability to replicate the natural properties of the bone. The porous scaffolding provides an environment excellent for the processing flexibility, cell biomaterial interaction, cell addition, and etc. Its popularity is largely driven by the concern over the high immunogenicity, unnecessary complexity, and the pathogen transmission potential of a natural polymer. Similar approaches for the tissue regeneration have been uh, used, including the microsphere based fold, all the uh, highlighting uh, its potential uh, benefits over the natural polymers. This project aims to analyze the mechanical property. Uh, degradations and the morphology of a PLS scaffolding and the understanding its advantages in the tissue engineering. This polylactic acid scaffold using a fuse deposition fabrication and the determining the effect of the porous porosity on following mechanical properties, degradation rate and the scaffold morphology. The materials and the methods are as follow. We are using a simple pre uh, preparation techniques which is a uh, fuse deposition uh, modeling while we are collecting a uh, sample as a a low commodity of uh, polylactic acid. The statistical uh, analysis techniques are as follow: the determining uh, effective compression, uh, compressive modulus, observe uh, cross-sectional area, plot stress and st uh, strain curve, extract mean and uh, standard bar chart, calculate porous size struts uh, with using image J and change in the scaffold masses. So one shows the stress and strain curve of a solid scaffold and the log pile scaffold, while uh, the figure two represents a rate of a mean degradation of a solid and the log pile scaffold, where the degradation shown in the percentage over the period of uh, seven days. Figure three, the compression analysis of the solid and the log pile scaffold uh, is shown, where it says the log pile scaffold requires less amount of the force than the uh, solid scaffold. Meanwhile, in the figure four, the mean length of a degraded versus non degraded uh, scaffold course and the degraded versus non degraded uh, scaffold struts are shown. The conclusion for this particular project is as follow. The weight of the uh, log pile and the scaff uh, solid scaffold decreases linearly over the period of the seven days. The, due to the pores uh, within the log pile scaffold, there is a reduction in the compression modulus, which results in the reduction in the compressive strength and the stiffness of the log pile scaffold. The degradation has a nominal effect on the diameter of the pores and the strut size in the log pile scaffold. Uh, as we can see from the figure four, after the degradation of the log pile scaffold, we can observe a minimal increase in the strut diameter from 0.86 to 0.90 mm. PLS scaffold in combination with over the polymer can be alternative for the bone. The references for the particular project are as follows.